Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. I gotta say straight up, if you are a New Orleans Pelicans fan, you need to be very excited about your basketball team right now. It's about time the Pelicans management team has finally made a great decision for the franchise and actually made the correct signing slash trades for this team right here. So, um, it was just reported that the Pelicans have traded for Nikola Mirotic from the Chicago Bulls in exchange for Tony Allen, Omer Ishik, who had a bitch-ass contract, also a future first-round draft pick. And also, they are going to be signing Greg Monroe to fill out the center position since Marcus Cousins is, you know, gone with injuries right there for the rest of the season. So, this move is absolutely fantastic for the Pelicans, guys. Tony Allen, for one, had no plays being on the Pelicans anyway, just because he's now a player you put around two big guys that you need shooting from, right? Um, and also, he's probably going to get bought out by the Bulls anyway, hopefully join a, con a uh, contending team out there, a team that maybe needs help with some defense, maybe like the Cleveland Cavaliers or somebody like that. But yeah, man, so let's look at this team from, uh, you know, or this trade from the Pelicans perspective, kind of what their lineup is looking like. And uh, I love the idea of Mirotic being the small forward of this team right here. What exactly is he doing this NBA season? Well, he's bringing you 17 points per game, 6 rebounds, getting about 2 assists, shooting 43% from 3, guys. Like, this dude can fill up the basket. He's 6'10", so he brings you some nice length out there. I know he's probably closer to a natural uh, power forward out there, but I still think the small forward position is something he can definitely play. So a fantastic player to put alongside, you know, Anthony Davis and when DeMarcus Cousins is healthy next season, assuming he comes back to the Pelicans. Um... You look over at Greg Monroe, and honestly, guys, he's not a bad fit for this team right there. I mean, he, he's, like, defensively, he's not going to bring you much, um, but he can do a lot in limited minutes. He is going to bring you some scoring under the basket, so, you know, Anthony Davis can kind of play out on the perimeter a bit more while Greg Monroe eats up on the inside. He's going to give you about, you know, 8, 10, 9, 10 rebounds per game, and that's about it, but it, it's not bad, man. Like, it's, it's not bad for what this team needs right now. You know, I mean, when you lose a superstar player like DeMarcus Cousins, it's going to wreak havoc on your team, but, you know, Greg Monroe is just not a bad fit and a bad replacement for that type of thing to happen out there. So what we are going to do is simulate the rest of the season. But yeah, all of a sudden, Anthony Davis is surrounded by shooters. I mean, just how, or I'm sorry, Drew Holiday can fill up the basket. Um, although he's not shooting like amazing from three from uh, three of the season, he's still averaging 19 points per game. And uh, in the past, you know, he's been a good three point shooter, so maybe that'll turn up for him a little bit more right there. Uh, Etwan Moore shooting 43% the exact shooting guard he wants on this type of team. Miritish, we saw his stats, and Greg Monroe, while he's not like a three point shooter, um, he can definitely make some mid range shots. I mean, he's got a 75 mid range shot out there, he's got a nice post game, so yeah, he's not gonna be spreading the court out. Uh, but from the center position, that's not a big deal because, you know, Anthony Davis can, of course, do that himself. So, I don't know, man. I'm pretty excited to see what kind of damage this Pelicans team could do. They got a very solid bench unit. I mean, you know, Rondo, uh, he can drop freaking 25 assists per game. Not per game, but he can drop those type of assists. Jameer Nelson, I don't know if he's actually healthy right now or not, but he brings a veteran leadership out there. Darius Miller, another great shooter. Alexis out there, uh, you know, a, a decent backup center. I mean, he's going to get some hits out there. And then you look at the Chicago Bulls. I mean... Yo, y'all go back to Amir Sheik right here. Like, yeah, I know he's he's a scrub now. Uh, he hasn't done anything in a long time. But honestly speaking, man, like, he used to be, like, a fan favorite for the Chicago Bulls. Like, you go back to the Chicago Bulls days. Uh, oh, well, may maybe not. <laughs> damn, dude, I thought he was a little bit better than that. God damn, he was kind of a bitch ass on the Bulls. Okay, I mean, you went to the Houston Rockets, had a pretty decent season. Uh, but I thought you was, like, a decent backup center back in your Bulls days. I would guess I was wrong about that. Although, five rebounds isn't too bad out there. But, yeah, guys, let's go ahead and simulate the rest of the season here, see what these teams do. And, um, you know, for the Chicago Bulls, you probably could not have asked for a much better trade from Miritich because you guys got a first-round draft pick out of this. So, you know, Bulls fans are probably hoping that the Pelicans just, like, tank the rest of the season are absolutely horrible out there. Uh, that's probably not going to happen. I, I do think this team definitely is more than capable of making the playoffs. And uh, the, the draft pick the Bulls can expect from this is probably around, I'm going to say anywhere from, like, I'm going to say 18 to 23rd pick in the draft. That's probably the uh, realm of possibility I'm seeing with that. I don't know what's going on right here now. But, yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Yo, man, what the hell's going on here, man? All right, it's just rotation. Damn, dude. Y'all keep it going, man. Come on, Bulls. You ain't making the playoffs anyway. Um, but, yeah, like, Miritich didn't really want to be on the Bulls anymore anyway. We kind of got that sense for him, I think. And uh, it, it was kind of sad to see because, like, he was playing so well for that team. It's like when the Bulls need him to play well last season, he was absolute trash. But now this season, it's like when they're trying to tank, all of a sudden the man decides to get buckets, right? So I, I really do think that him going to a new team will just be a nice change of pace, not only for him, but the NBA in general and seeing what he can do with alongside Anthony Davis. Just, I'm, I'm very excited for this team, guys. It, it was a nice trade to, uh, you know, see go through. I mean, no, it's not like some superstar type player trade going down. It's just like a trade that makes sense. It's It makes sense for both teams' perspectives. It was smart by both of the management teams. No bitch-ass contracts around here. 
and not to mention Monroe is nice, you know, fill in center for now and actually when boogie cousins if he does come back i mean i don't think monroe would have any problem being like the sixth man on the team either like he kind of was for the milwaukee bucks but yeah so the, we got the uh, pelicans finishing fifth in the uh, western conference with a record of 46 and 35 so you know good for them right there bulls did not make playoffs as expected similarly through day against the spurs and well there you go they took a big all right there um here's all the stats they're probably not going to see much of the uh pelicans out here although you know anthony davis could always make the all nba team and he does. He makes All NBA second team, and it looks like that's about it for that. Looks like he also made All Defensive first. Uh, player stats on the season. How these guys do? Okay, well, what's this? Oh, that's playoff stats. Well, it hasn't that started yet, so that makes sense. It was empty. Okay, so yeah, of course, Boogie Cousins' his stats are up there. Those were his numbers uh, when he got injured. But you know, Anthony Davis, uh, 26 points, 11 rebounds, three assists out there, getting the steal and the about two blocks a game. Miritich bringing in the 17 points, seven rebounds, two assists. And he still shot a nice 42% from three. Uh, Drew Holiday's three-point shooting, 33%. I mean, that's not like all that great, but it's it's something, right? It's like he makes them every now and then. Actually, one out of every three times. Uh, bitch ass Monroe, Greg Monroe, uh, 13 points, nine rebounds, and then there's the rest of the team right there. So yeah, guys, uh, just a nice trade going through. Let's go ahead and submit these playoffs. I don't expect them to get past the Spurs here. Similar current round, and well, maybe. Oh, okay, yeah, they lost four games to one. Kind of would be expected. Um. I really think the exciting aspect of this trade right here is just like the potential of Boogie to come back to this team because then all of a sudden you're looking at a team full of shooters around Boogie and Anthony Davis and that was not how it was at the beginning of the NBA season. Anyway guys, give me all your thoughts on this trade in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching and peace out my friends.